Ever since I posted my social media automation videos, I've received one question a few times. Specifically, how do I upload to a Google Photo album? The reason I'm getting this question, if you have Google Photos set to upload an image anywhere in your workflow, scroll down to album, you might notice when you click on it that it doesn't have any album that you have already created on your Google Photos listed. Unfortunately, it will only upload images to an album that you have created with the API. So I created a little scenario for myself. There's just one module. And to recreate that here, I'll just go ahead and delete these. Go to Google Photos and you have create an album and that's it. You just have to run this scenario. So I, earlier I created AI images. Right now I'm going to say t-shirt repository. Click OK, run the process, that's it. It's created the album, and now when I want to use it in a scenario, and so let's, I'll make a hypothetical scenario, we will generate an image with Dali, and then we will put that image into Google Photos. So let's say a nice image of a cat for the prompt, just really simple. One of the most common workflows that I see are people just automatically generating images and storing them in a folder because DALI will not hold your images more than 24 hours. So I'm going to select HD, Vivid, and instead of response format URL, I'm going to choose image file because that's what makes Google Photos happy. Plus, add Google Photos, and now let's upload, upload a media item, and now check it out. For the description, I'm going to map to data file name. Now this isn't something you have to do. This is just optional. You can of course type in a manual title there. I just wanted to grab the actual generated image name, whatever it happens to be. And now you can see there's t-shirt repository available. I can select it, run the process. Oops, value must not be empty. It's wanting me to save that, which is opening, clicking OK, save, run the process. And then I'll open up my Google Photos while it's processing that. And there is my photo. And over here you can see my album t-shirt repository. There we go. That is how you use Google Photos with Make. It's a little bit of a quirk with Make that you have to create an album that way, but it is what it is.